What is up fellow Astroneers? I you know I haven't made a lot of Astroneer content recently, but that's because I'm working on something mega huge. I'm gonna have a short video on that shortly. I wanna work on that and show you guys what I've been doing these past couple of weeks. It's actually taking me two months. But anyways, I'll do a short video here just to show you that I'm still here. I'm gonna go over my base. This is my main base on Silva. Just a little brief overview of what it looks like. I haven't really touched up on it in a long while. I might add to it and rearrange everything and build it on a node. There's a node right over there. Gateway chamber, whatever you, whatever you want to call it. Anyways, welcome to my crib. Hope you like it. <laughs> uh, Alright, I'll start here. So, I collected one of each material that is used in a blueprint and uh, I organized them by block types alphabetically so here you have the metals the refined metals and they're organized in alphabetical order because I have OCD not really but gaming OCD and I arranged it you know similar shape sort of you got the uh this is a little bit out but like the cotton candies here you got the organics there the glass again refined metals I got all the gases here in alphabetical order now when the silo came out, I was really upset because this was pretty much the way to hold the most resources. But now if I replace the medium storage unit with the medium silo, that's a lot more. It doesn't look as good. But you know, how else are you supposed to flex an astroneer, right? <laughs> Anyways, here you have uh, the spaghettis. And then the little thingamabobs, and then the refined composite metals, more cotton candy, again, all organized alphabetically by block type. And the, in the back is my collection of satellite pieces. I haven't really gone to collecting here. Back here is an experimental area where I'm trying to build a warehouse with the terrain manipulator now. It's proven to be a little bit hard. Um, I was trying to make some stairs. You can do it pretty well, decently well, surprisingly. Except if you want to go over it without jumping, you kind of can't have a 90 degree angle stair. You need like a 45 degree. So that disappointed me. Gave up on that for now. Hopefully, they'll add in some changes where it's a lot easier. All right, back here is my power generation area. I had a whole array here of RTGs that I moved to Vicenia to power my gas collection facility for my current project. Got the zero spheres here. Uh, so it doesn't look as good, but uh, this is all I need to run my current base as is. Most of the power was going to my gas collectors. Now here is the area that I use the most. This is my production line for medium wind turbines. I turned dirt into medium wind turbines and I scrap it. Now it's lower than collecting resources by digging it, but you don't have to go look for it. You don't have to bring it back. I just have to dig some soil up, bring it back here, and then I can turn it into whatever I want. So I have a video on that. If you're interested, I'll link it in the description below. But yeah, this is the centrifuge and the furnace. You can, once you load a canister on here and then one material on here, it'll keep, it'll keep auto loading as long as you activate the centrifuge, so it's very handy. I got a printing table here. This is probably my favorite way to print something. You just go up here and then you can access eight small printers rapidly. And then this is my scrapping area. I'm gonna turn all the, the turbines into scrap, which is next to the trade platform now you can actually get this to a little bit auto unload you can you can make it unload a little bit so basically how you do that is you leave some materials on here and put some scrap on send it up and whatever is not scrap will get transferred to a storage container it's pretty nice you got smeltings here and the uh, chem labs here and now this used to be my gas collection area this entire thing I moved that to Vicenia as well for my current project and uh, not only that I have two more additional production lines this one turns soil into medium storage units which I can shred this is this used to be the fastest method but um, there's a way to make the medium wind turbine method even faster 
than medium storage units. Medium storage trays and uh, that is a superior method over there. And then here is the drill mod 1 production line. So you turn dirt into drill mod 1's ceramic and then you shred them over here. Now I would have more shredders but I moved them over. And finally I have a few areas to make videos for because you need them to look nice. So this is my explosives test area. I patterned the ground uh, for a reason to see how big the radius is for explosions. I have a video on that as well. I have a video on a lot of the stuff that I did. <laughs> Anyways, and this is my just recent tech area and this is where I take all my videos here. So. You know, it's just like real life, you need it properly lit, so I have a lot of lighting here. It's just a really nice area, just very simple. And then I zoom in to kind of, you know, block out everything else. My, my messy bass part. Got the horns here. <laughs> I have yet to collect the two variations, sort of small and the medium horns. I'm gonna get on that. But anyways, there you have it. Now let's take a quick hop over to Visenya. Alright, here we are in Visenya. Uh, that base doesn't count. <laughs> Anyways, here's my hydrogen collection facility. So this is for my project that I'm currently working on. It's taking a very long time, but I'm nearing the end of it. So hopefully I can show you guys the results of it. Anyways, I have 36 RTGs over here. And I got 30 here and I got 6 spread out here powering my 24 condensers collecting hydrogen because again Vicenia does it at 100 PPU. And I got a line of soil centrifuges here to turn soil into graphite so I can make packagers. And that's pretty much it. Alright on, on the rest of the planets I have little baby bases that I made. Usually it's like one RTG, one oxygenator, four medium batteries, four solar, four turbines, and I have one of each device kind of arranged in, I guess what you call a functional order. So I have like all of the creation items on one side and all of the conversion items on the other, usually the same area, and that's it. I like this base layout, it's pretty tidy, it's pretty neat, it's uh, handy to make anything in a pinch. I have some generic storage items over here, so most, most of the planets I have a small base like this, but Silva is my main base. Alright, there you have it folks. I uh, hope you enjoyed my overview of my base. It's, it's kind of, uh, it's getting a little stale. I need to change it up, but that'll be a project for another time. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this. I'll do my best to make more Astroneer content. It's just that I'm working on a mega huge project right now on Astroneer. And it's taking a very long time. It's something I've been working for, uh, working on for about two months now. <laughs> Let's just say... I'll go out with a bang. It'll be very big as well. So hopefully, hopefully you guys are looking forward to that because I, I certainly am. Anyways, thank you so much for dropping by. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, catch you guys next time.